this is the Epiphone EB3, and it's not great, it's not bad, it's just okay. So you have an SG style, all mahogany body, with a humbucker in the neck, a mini humbucker in the bridge, a three-way selector switch, and separate volume and tone knobs for both pickups. And then you have a set mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard and trapezoid inlays as well. I really like the finish on this bass. It's a nice deep cherry red where you can see the wood grain through it. I mean, it's a Gibson cherry red, so it's classic and it's timeless. But let's talk about these pickups and how they sound. The stock pickups that this bass comes with, I don't really like that much. Basically the neck pickup is very deep and whole sounding, but it's really muddy and it just doesn't, it's really hard to explain, but you just can't really get that many dynamics out of it. It's just kind of there, it's very muddy, very dark sounding. And then the bridge pickup is very thin and just really weak and quiet, especially compared to the neck pickup, because basically you have the bridge pickup which is super weak and quiet, and then you have the neck pickup which is very loud but muddy and it just, they, it's a very weird combo. Really to get a good sound out of this bass, in my opinion, you have to use both pickups. The neck is just too much, but then the bridge pickup is just too little, and together they sound good, just not great. And last, but absolutely not least, let's talk about this terrible, terrible, terrible bridge. Now, three-point bridges come standard on most, if not all, Gibson and Epiphone basses, I think, but they're just terrible. They look really cool, I'm not gonna deny that. They look super awesome. But just practicality wise, they are completely useless in my opinion. So with setting this bass up and really finding the right intonation is just kind of a pain to where most regular basses, you can adjust the saddles, the saddle height, and then the truss rod as well. But with this, you can adjust all three points of the bridge as well, which I guess the versatility of that is really cool, but it just kind of adds to more confusion of exactly how you should do it and what you need to do to get the correct intonation for the bass. And there's really cool alternatives if you do really like your bass and have like a three-point bridge. I know Hip Shop makes a really neat uh, three-point bridge that basically kind of turns it into a regular standard style bridge. I just personally do not see a real reason to use a three-point bridge over a standard like Fender style bridge at all. And it just, it does not add to this bass. So overall, it's not a terrible bass. It looks great, it plays well, but I just do not care for the sound. I don't care for the bridge. The build quality is just kind of, it doesn't feel like it's 100% there. Like they just kind of threw it out when it was like 70% done and said, it's good enough, then slapped the sticker on it. It's just not a great bass, especially for the price. You're gonna spend like 350 bucks for one of these brand new. And I know there's a lot of really nice alternatives for the exact same price. But this is just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys thought. If you own one and you love it, if you own one and you hate it, if you own one and you love it and you hate me for saying bad things about it, just let me know. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time.